Hi there guys, in today's video TrueCut already works, we're going to be looking at tracing custom shapes within the program. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Yeah. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini-series on the design. Um, yeah, and then also I will leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. Now, when it comes to the topic of today, tracing custom shapes. Um, yeah, what I'm referring to this is sometimes you'll join multiple shapes and then let's say you want to make a trace of them. So if I had to do something like this and cut it then it will actually cut these cross lines here so we'll have cuts over each other where let's say i want to cut just this outline without the bottom of the circle with the inside then um yeah you, you would use a different method some programs you can simply just cut them out of each other which is convenient but in rg works um, i have not found a way yet so what i would do is i would select both these shapes change the color to something that's maybe more presentable as a guide so i know that this is not my final and then when i go to our group function here on the top and it's the middle icon then we group this together now this will work as one shape this will help if we're working with nodes for not to get um, confused or at least too confused now this is still a kind of buggy process so um, you must play around with it a bit to get it to work well then what I'll do, I'll go on the left here, get the curve tool, select that, and then zoom in over here using my mouse wheel, about this close. Then like before, I will start on a point where I know um, I want to end at. So let's say I want to start here, go this way around and end at that point. So then I'll locate this point, simply left click, left click, and I will not drag my mouse so it doesn't create a curve node. Obviously, I'll try to be a bit more clean in the actual project. Just to try to save time. And then with semicircles and off circles, it's always nice, at least in my opinion, to get like a half point of it. You left click and hold in, and now we can make that curve. Once again, it's important to keep this level horizontal, or if you're doing on a side vertical, but in our case, it'll be horizontal. Otherwise, we get a warped semicircle at the end. So I get it to somewhere where I'm quite satisfied, leave it, find the closing point, click that and it will close it. You can maybe work on that a bit. You can adjust it with the note edit tool if you want. But I'm not going to spend too much time on that. And then, but going to the note edit tool, I just want to make sure my path is properly closed. So I'm going to select this point, move it, select the two, and we say join it or combine nodes, and then remove this one. And then we have a nice traced image here. Now we can simply either move or remove the guide. Change the color. And then zoom out. And there we have a nice custom shape, which uh, you can always play around with then. Obviously, this could be whatever. But uh, just for this tutorial sake, I just showed you a combination of curve and straight lines. Okay, my straight lines are not too straight, but they're supposed to be straight lines. In any case, um, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to do cover, and also you can isolate your search on the top of the right. If you do not, however, find what you're looking for, just go here, request a training video, and then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.